Hello again, and welcome to 5 Euro Food. Today we'll be making carrot and coriander soup, which is a really great, thick, rich and warming soup, which is perfect for when it's cold outside in winter. Here's the list of ingredients you're going to need. You'll need about 4 or 5 large carrots, around 2 or 3 medium-sized potatoes, 1 onion, 1 vegetable stock cube, a good bunch of fresh coriander, 1 litre of water, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, 2 tablespoons of fresh cream, and some salt and pepper. And here's the list written down for you. Start off by peeling and chopping the onion roughly. It really doesn't have to be too fine. Pour the oil into a heated pan, and when it's hot, add in the onion and fry gently until golden coloured. Next, trim the ends from the carrots and peel each one, and then chop each one into chunks. Again, it doesn't have to be too fine at all, and then just transfer them into the pan with the onion. Peel the potatoes next and chop them up into rough chunks. The potatoes add a lot of thickness to the soup, so you can really experiment with larger or smaller quantities of them if you wish. When this is done, also place them in the pan with the carrots. Crumble in the stock cube on top of the carrots and potatoes, put in a few pinches of salt and pepper, and then pour in the litre of water on top. Cover the pan with a lid and bring the water to the boil. After this is done, reduce the heat and continue to simmer, or just cook gently, until the carrots are very soft and this will take about 30 minutes. Once this is done, wash the coriander and chop it roughly and remove the soup pan from the heat. Using your hand blender, blend the soup until smooth. Add in half of the coriander and the cream, and blend for another minute or so. Once this is done, transfer the rest of the coriander into the soup and stir well. Serve out into bowls and eat, and you can serve it with some nice fresh bread or a similar side dish. You can top it off with some chopped chives for a bit of colourful decoration. 
Please let me know if you enjoy it by leaving a comment below, and check back soon for some more recipes. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the soup.